sure you're not asking for money, all right? <laughs> yes. Mary Kevin, I'd like to thank y'all for all you did. <coughs> for your support for the year. We certainly appreciate the support you showed us. Uh, with that said, month of November we had, uh, had six calls to an accident was injured, one going to interstate. Uh, that Lance Cannon requested us to uh, bring our truck with our rescue equipment for their rescue truck was down, which is exactly why we decided we needed to get into the rescue business again, which was you know, something happened and their truck was down, we didn't have the equipment. And, uh, luckily, the person that was bought and wrecked with the trap, but initially it was pulled out that way, so it's good that we had the equipment to assist the equipment for a change. Uh, we had a uh, one fire, uh, one house fire that uh, resulted in minor damage to the kitchen. It was a stove fire. We uh, assisted public work with the water leak. And uh, fortunately, during the month of November, we completed only two fire inspections, but we did five reinspections. And we got to go back, you know, I think three of those we got to go back again because it still wasn't up to code, you know. Uh, so uh, it takes up a lot of time. We get back and, and did have to turn around and go back again, you know, so uh, it's, it's time to soon to pass. But we're trying to work with everybody the best way we can, you know, get everybody up to standard. So. Okay. Uh, I think I got this uh, request. Uh, I know when Bob uh, Wilbur's called me and said that uh, we requested for tree lighting there at uh, on Lakes Boulevard for the chamber, you know, about 5.30. And we're always happy to do that stuff, you know, but uh, my point is that we like a little bit of advance notice, you know, nobody said anything to us about it, and it spurred the moment we were called, and that kind of puts everybody in the bind trying to get enough people to show up and, and have a good showing. So. He, did, he did a really good job over there, and uh, represented the fire department very well uh, with that, that lighting. So if we can kind of look at that in the future, if somebody needs us or wants us to attend something, just kind of give us a little bit of head notice, you know, so we can get the people lined up. But Are any of our trucks going to be in the parade? We're talking about 39. I'm sure we'll have a, a couple in there. I'm going to have to work Saturday since the parade's here and the festival's at the mill store. I'm going to be tied up at the mill store, so I won't be able to participate in all the things we see as far as putting trucks out. We'll discuss that third night. I'm sure we'll get it. at least a couple in there. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, I got some surplus equipment. I'd like for, or I got some equipment. I'd like for the city to declare surplus. And maybe we can sell on governmentdeals.com. Um, some ladder. Uh, I got a uh, 10 foot attic ladder, a 28 foot extension ladder, a 24 foot extension ladder that come off the old American Le France truck that we had. Uh, all these ladders, uh, ladders. I'm sorry. All these ladders have been. Certified tested every year when we have our letter testing done, they've been tested. They're all uh, in compliance and certified. I also got two 16 foot roof ladders. Uh, and we got old positive pressure fans, 24 inch fans that uh, they won't fit on any of the trucks. And we got the newer fans, we'd like to declare that surplus and like I said, try to sell it. And if we're successful in selling this stuff, I'd like to buy uh, a 14 foot roof ladder and a uh, 10, foot at 10 foot attic ladder. Callum, how do you feel about that? Chief Mopad will run his department. Mm -hmm. We need a motion on that, Tom? Make a motion that we allow the chief to sell the surplus item on the computer for that website. Okay. <coughs> is, it, is, it, is it going to be only on that website? <coughs> if he has somebody come over from the county and say we want the ladders? Well, I certainly would like, you know, if, have to work with us and put it on the city website, you know, anyway, you know, we can get it out, you know, try to get rid of it. So we won't place the main I amend my motion that it get it out any way that we can to put it to the public. Maximize our profits. Are any of these items worth more than $500? Uh, no. So you can sell them however you can sell them. We have a motion? I'll second it. Second, any discussion? All in favor? Okay. Just pick up uh, We attended the uh, funeral of uh, fire chief <coughs> Darrell Hall, me and my wife. You know, even though we didn't put it in the budget for 2015 for any kind of uniform, I'd like to look at uh, in the coming budget that I purchased a uh, dress uniform 
I think when we're in Tennessee, city, we should look appropriate, you know, when we're doing that. So I'd like to look at uh, person dress uniform for those kind of occasions, you know, certainly not something we wear every day, but when those times come up, you want to look, you know, appropriate. So uh, I'd like to cancel that. Entertain that motion with the, with the next new budget. Um, next thing I got, this is something that I personally had some issues with over the years, but I see the value of, of uh, us doing it, and I'd like for it to be done on a uh, six month trial basis, and that's actually uh, me running emergency lights in my vehicle. My personal vehicle, I use it probably. 80% of the time, you know, I use it more than anything else. So, um, now, I will tell council, Lance County's had a standing rule that no volunteer firemen use red lights in the county. That's one of the reasons I'd like to do it as a trial basis, because I don't know what kind of static we're going to get if I come to my house with the lights running, if the sheriff's department's going to pull me over. Um, certainly, I'll have to do that. Council would, you know, back me up, that, you know, me being the fire chief, that y'all approve this. and. Since I'm no longer with the county, I don't think that they have a, you know, issue with it. You know. well, I believe state law says you, as the fire chief, can run it because he has to approve all the other right uh, permits. I believe and it's it's come talk of your insurance. Right. Uh, I think it's a safer situation too, having the lights on there, because he has to get to where he's going as fast as possible safely as possible yeah, but, and, yeah, and those lights will make people pull up to the side and, and get yeah. room. if we give you this permission to do it you'll have to show us that upgraded insurance policy because okay. that's by state law says so you've got to have that well i do not see no problem do we need a motion on that i'll make a motion that we authorize <laughs> to do that public safety is my domain that we to that, with, uh, with the approval of it uh, How much do you think this is going to cost? Uh, for the red lights and the starting, uh, I think that dollar figure get should be under, certainly be under $300. You know. uh, also, like, like I said, a six month trial basis, if it's okay with me, you know, we don't have any problem. Maybe look at the chief officer, you know, let them allow them to do it. I don't want a bunch of people running around red lights, firing, stuff like that. I don't want that, you know, our department tagged that way, but I do see, you know, our you know, like I got one assistant chief coming from the district, Bob stated that the would cost 40 more than he has issues sometimes. So, uh, Let, let's see how it works with, with you first, and then we'll uh, consider the, uh, the officers of, of the fire department. As uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned about how the sheriff's department is going to react. Me too. It, it depends on who, who's on, and I'm sure uh, Chief Bree will um, have a conversation with them and let them know. I'm more than happy to post a sponsor. <laughs> Mr. Rubin, <laughs> to, answer your question, to answer your question, Mr. Rubin, we have surplus in New York for the items to be less than that, okay? Bob, you want to add something? So you're one of the authors. There is, there is a piece of paper that, that's filled out that should supersede anything the county's got as far as... <coughs> you can bring, bring it to me, I'll take a look at it, and we'll, 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 we'll get that fixed up. It, it is a safety issue. And, we want you to be safe. So that's not a problem. Yeah, you can just like Okay. Uh, we still have that motion hanging there. Uh, on the yes. Yes. Paul seconded it. Because Paul seconded it. Want to have a discussion about it? Ask that you know, ask that you not put a moment that he shows us that insurance policy. Insurance policy. Well, do you want to put that in your motion or you want to wait for the motion until the next council? That's, I'll, I'll amend the motion that we accept uh, the proposal for him to put lights on his personal vehicle with the uh, implementation of the upgraded insurance policy. Okay, so you just show it to me and then you're good to go. Okay, okay so we have a motion, an amended motion? And the, well, we also have to apply for those permits. Yeah, it was allowing to fly for the permit. And, uh, okay. We'll get all our ducks in a row, as per your motion. Do you have a second? I still second. Okay. <laughs> Any more discussion? All in favor? I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay.